five. Yeah. Finally. Not anymore. Not anymore. Can you go back where you were from? Why? Because me standing over here. Yeah, there you go. Connection's great. Connection's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Back at it after a week of hiatus. Hold on, let me turn this. doesn't crap out on us. Let me put the timer on for the first time because I've been saying it forever and it's officially happening starting now. We have a timer. Right meow. Right meow. Oh, we've got some people joining in now. Hello. Sweet. What's no going Infinity on? No Infinity War spoilers from us. We can guarantee this. We yes. promise uh, no Infinity people, War spoilers. I mean, people in the past haven't spoiled stuff in the chat. Like when Black Panther came out, nobody spoiled it for me. Nobody yeah. personally DM'd me spoiling it for me. So, you know, the odds are you won't get spoiled, but if you haven't seen the movie yet, we're just done. in case, I think it's more of a just in case thing. Yeah, we um, won't spoil it, but if yeah. somebody does, we, we don't accept responsibility for that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you do, however, want to listen to a uh, spoil, like pretty much entire movie breakdown, me and this guy did one uh, this past week. It's two and a half hours. It's so good. It's longer and than the yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you have to like, go to the movie theater again, pop in your headphones, and just listen to the commentary along we, with the movie. They yeah. did we break. Yes, cut we break down the whole thing. It was so. It was so much fun. Like it was a good time. So anyway. we have some fans coming in saying, uh, "What's up?" So I'm gonna read through them just because we have a lot of people. Fast squeeze me three seven three three says, "Hey guys." I think he's back. He hasn't been here for a while. C Vern says, first, you were not the first, but you're not. Know good luck. There's no show for you after that <laughs> comment." Keyshawn says, "I like girls." So so do I. Do you? Chimp says, says hey. Whoop. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, hi, Blake Frapp. Face squeeze. Hey there. Hey, the chimp. Thumbs up. It's Maria Angel Saludar. What's up? It's, yeah, hi. hi <laughs> the okay. Maria Angel Saludar? It's, yeah. Hey, Last week, the people won't listen. I don't know what that means. Back to Marvel DC. Thumb up to you. Jesus. The people won't listen about Hell, spoiling. Okay. That's what he meant. Maria Angel one greeting is would suffice. You said like four different ones now. Like <laughs> maybe we, we should it. pull this thing a little bit back so Nick can get in there because we can't see Nick at all. Yeah, you can. I'm in there. No, What's up, Arpith? Hey guys, your camera's not fixated on y'all. Oh, somebody come. Oh, is that where you got it from? Yeah, because I pay attention. Oh, I was somebody come. Hey guys, not to be rude, but can you stop putting follows today? It's, I've stopped doing that for like months now. <laughs> if you actually looked at my post, you'd know that. So clearly you don't. So. This will probably work the best. <laughs> you know what this up to you're a big follower. Like, I've <laughs> Easy. stopped doing it for a month. Easy. Um, also, for those of you listening right now on Anchor, we're, I think, on Spotify now, too. Uh, Radio Maybe Tune, Apple Spotify. Music. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We're expanding. We're it, it, No, with Anchor, it takes us everywhere. Um, so, for those of you listening right now, it's Nick. Hello. You keep talking to the microphone. We're Hello. talking to the audio people. Anthony. Pandora. Hello, my name's Pandora. Sure. And then, and G here, and it's our live show, and we're just going to be, we got what, uh, how about ranging up to about 13, 14 people, eight people now. Uh, <laughs> it's a live show where people just ask us questions. You know, guys, honestly, we're just, I'm just going to throw it out there. It's because the Avengers and Infinity War spoilers. That's what it left. Let's, yeah. let's be real. Yeah. But there aren't going to be any. Uh, but happy May the 4th for people who are watching live. Dude, let me finish my thing for the audio. Jesus. It's taking five years. I want to be... Anyways, so for those of you listening right now, if uh, thank you for joining this one. Uh, we release this every Saturday, I think is when I release the audio. So I hope you're enjoying the audio and I keep working on getting the audio quality better. Audio one more time. Yeah. Swear to God. <laughs> audio, audio, audio. Anyway, yes. Audio, Moist. Audio. Moist. A question for the audio. chat. What is the best Star Wars movie and the worst Star Wars movie you've seen? Oh yeah, it's May the Fourth. May yeah. the Fourth be with you guys. Oh, sorry, uh, then you cut me off. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, um, what was the worse. other one? Uh, oh, Live Long and Prosper. Right, that's a Star Wars. Yeah, thing. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna put that while everyone's doing their May the Fourth. I was like, Live Long and Prosper, and uh, the daggers come out. So, the worst Star Wars movie I've seen. Honestly, I didn't mind the prequels much as we said, so I haven't seen them in a while though, so it's not like they're fresh in my memory as okay. this one is. Yeah. I don't know if this was the worst Star Wars movie, but I'm gonna say the one I'm most disappointed with was The Last Jedi. You were. I thought you liked it. No, you liked The Last Jedi, right? I, yeah, I liked you it. Liked I, it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good actually. I did like. Yeah, to say the most disappointed, I would still say is Phantom Menace, with the exception of the fight scene. The fight scene with Darth yeah. Maul was oh, still amazing. to this day amazing. Yeah, I think. 
I don't know. I, I'm going to have to say, and this could be a, a very, you know, controversial statement, Do your but thing, I right? will say that that was the best fight scene, I think, out of all the Star Wars ones. I think a lot of people say that too, though. Yeah. I, I agree with yeah. you. That, and you, the beautiful thing is that the way the choreography was, it was more of, like, it looked very choreographed, but that's not a bad thing because when you look at the originals, what were the fight scenes? Yeah. This, z this, yeah. this. This it was smooth like, in Phantom Menace. Oh, yeah. oh we got a fight going on down here. I can oh. see it's brewing. Because someone said Star Wars sucks. Peggy and says then Star the Wars chimp. sucks. The yeah. chimp going off again. The chimp is going bananas. Says <laughs> fuck off. Star Wars is the best. That's what he said. You know, as long as my fucking Phantom was spoilers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, I would say definitely not the prequels in any way, shape, or form, except for the thing that you mentioned. Yeah. I did. Um, I did like you and McGregor as Obi Wan. I thought yeah. that was awesome, and, yeah. I, and I'm still hoping that they're planning on doing the Obi Wan spinoff movie. That is one spinoff movie I would actually be excited yeah. to see. I don't want to see any spinoff movies. You know what? Except for Obi Wan was the exception. Mm, and and I'm almost with you on that. And the sequel is really good too. A New Hope. Yes, yeah. the sequel, A New Hope. Yeah, um, yeah. Empire is probably my favorite one. Force Awakens was fine. I think uh, Force Awakens has a thing of. That's the, one of my favorite one. Just to cut you off there. That's probably my favorite one. Continue. Really? Yes. Over I'll Empire? Explain after. I'll explain after. Okay. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I don't know how I can get that out of my head now. But anyways, I think Force Awakens is uh, is big because of what it had to do. What did you guys think of Attack of the Clones? Because I get Awful. two very... Yeah. See, I get some guys who, who really liked Attack of the Clones. Yeah. I, I'm kind of with you on that. I thought it was awful. I... I you know, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. I, I, like, I still think Jar Jar Binks, his created the universe. Awful. No, oh, God. At God. least he was less in there than the yeah. first one. But like, and, and that's I think why in the first one I hated it so much was because of him. Mm -hmm. But like, Attack of the Clones, I was the part where at the end where he barebacks a Stegosaurus, I just kind of was like, this is so <laughs> stupid. Like, why? It's not even necessary. Like, it kind of got to a point where I'm like. Yeah. I, I don't even want to watch it. Like Dude, I'm with the, you. the other, it prequel, left you a jar jar. It, le it left it left me a jar uh, jar. Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Um, I just better. Uh, yeah, I like the fact because you got to see. You know, I think everybody waited for Anakin to turn. The turn. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think I, I don't think there was any way you could do it that. Like I, I still found it anticlimactic, even like you know. But yeah. I don't think there was any way that they could have done it to not make it like you have this, you know. He's the epitome of a bad guy, yeah. and to have his story, origin story, told, I don't think no matter how you said it, I think it, I don't think it would do it justice, right? Well, I, I, like that's my opinion. I think a lot of it has to do with. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm gonna go get our scotches. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it has to do with the. Okay. You're okay. Yeah, I'm All good. right, we're going yeah. scotchless. We're going scotchless. Scotch You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with how George Lucas was uh, running it. Yeah. He pretty like there's on set photos of him just reading a, a newspaper while people like he didn't care about the acting side of things. He just cared about the technical side, which even for his time, the prequels Amazing. technically were incredible. Yeah. Um, but no one cared about he didn't care about the lines and it's a good thing he had guys like Ewan McGregor uh, like Liam Neeson and Natalie Portman to an extent as well that could at least elevate their own crappy lines like yeah. there, there's a thing about taking even Samuel L. Jackson was a highlight because he was just Samuel L. Jackson as a yeah. Jedi yeah shaft so let us okay uh, yeah my favorite is still Empire why do you feel Force Awakens is your favorite one okay well compared honestly for you guys, you guys like Empire so much just because I assume you actually watched it live in theater. I didn't. No. no. I wasn't alive when it was out in theater. Yeah, I I was I was alive when it was in theater, but no, I watched it for the first time on VHS. There you go. Yeah. Okay, well, for me, VHS was a way to watch movies back <laughs> yeah. in the day, by the way. Yeah. Empire was like a good movie, right? But I already knew the twist, so it wasn't as big of an impact for me. Yeah. And I think that has a lot to do with it. Also, yeah. The Force Awakens was the first Star Wars movie I ever saw in theaters. Okay. I saw it in D box, which moved to the movies. So that like made it really cool. I just really liked it. I was really hyped for it. So yeah. the overall experience made it my favorite one. Also, yeah. I just liked it over Rogue One because I like lightsabers more. So I just kind of gave it the push up. Oh, yeah. like you had more lightsaber battles in there. There's more to do yeah. in in there. The yeah, Star Wars I think with. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Uh, pew, pew. <laughs> I think the biggest thing with um, the the older ones versus the new is that is. Does it hold up? I think for the for the people that have watched it, like the first movie I ever watched was A New Hope, and then it was like those three were the first ones I saw. Yeah. But the prequels were my era. 
it, it's it is hard to look at it with the twist and knowing what it was but i still think it delivered a lot based on just the overall power the power of the performances because there were there were actually really good performances yeah. not from mark hamill himself because he was okay yeah that's but that's his name what hamill himself is on the hamill yeah hamill yeah. himself um i think a lot of it does have to do with the fact that you do have uh, a Harrison Ford, you do like that is you bringing. Had you Fisher. had, you have Carrie Fisher in there. Had, had oh, I didn't like, go with that. Point. But I mean, like you know, and and they they had powerful roles, and George Lucas actually cared, but he didn't direct Empire either. He directed A New Hope. Yeah, uh, I, you're right. I, he didn't direct Empire. I don't remember if he directed Return of the Jedi. I, I couldn't tell you either. But yeah. I mean, you look at it, and it's, it's still to this day, I think one of the if you were going to mark down the biggest twist of all time, um, yeah. excluding the sixth sense, let's say, yeah. out of, in all of all time, that is the big thing. What do we got for questions? Awesome. What do the people say? It was a yeah, no was... way moment. Yeah. Like, no way. It, it, I to say, this yeah. day. I feel like, I don't know if this is in my mind, but Infinity War, I think, is going to have one of those big twists. Or as currently. Doesn't have? Well, it had, I think. I don't like, think so. Near the end? I still don't think so. Not as big as I, I, Star Wars. Not, not even close. I I, I, I wouldn't even a... consider it a twist. I, the way that you look at again, this is no spoilers. It's an exacted plan, and and it, and it moves in the way that it has without really any twists. That's my thing. I think the other factors that we have to think about is that like even before Infinity War came out, there was uh, speculation as to what was going to happen at the end. Oh yeah. Whereas for back in the '80s when these movies came out, there was no internet, there was no speculation. Like yeah. rumors did not go very far. They so couldn't. You, there was right, no like you literally no... saw you you had to wait. I think it was two years between an uh, Empire and uh, the Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. With no internet. No form no. of communication, no trailers. Uh, I think you'd have to go to a theater, watch another movie just to get the trailer. trailer. Yeah. Right? Even more so then. Yeah. Like yeah, and I, I completely agree. Cause and you're left with your with like what the hell an empire. And I miss that. And you're just like and, and yeah, and uh, and now you have to wait, and you're like, what what did you guys do? What yeah. just happened? <laughs> yeah. all, all of that. But so you know, the, it's not the voice actor James Earl Jones or Darth Vader. It was the guy who actually embodies who's actually in the suit i don't know his name uh i don't know his name i know peter mayhew was chewbacca i forget the guy okay who's so in... this guy it was before empire came out yeah and he was at a comic con okay and he revealed that he is luke skywalker's father at his comic con i think around a year before empire actually came out but i mean back then comic con was like 12 people 30 people yeah <laughs> so like... i think to yeah. this day <laughs> he's, he's banned from going to a comic con ever again Wow. Because of that, because yeah. he I guess he's still play. He's still playing Vader, isn't he? Or do they have a new person that plays Vader? Oh, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But new Peter person. Mayhew, I think, is still doing Chewbacca too. It could be. Well, yeah. So anyway, okay. we got some people saying hello. Hi, Blake. It's, it's up, Romeo Bro says, in your individual opinions, who is the strongest Marvel superhero of all time? I don't even know enough to know to answer that question. Well, we'll, just, we'll let, let's let, like maybe pick uh, a couple three. Yours. Who would you say is the strongest Marvel villain? No, it's just, just character. Just character. Superhero. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go I'm with Thor. Spider Man. You're gonna go Spider with Thor. I think I know Spider Man is one of them. Not the strongest. You're going with that. I'm going with Galactus. Oh. I'm 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 going way up there. Yeah. The, the 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 dude eats planets. He has Silver Surfer. For lunch. He has Silver Surfer who can manipulate matter as oh, his okay. herald. Well, he's not a kid. He's, that's not adding on. But I mean, he that it's kind of it makes him powerful because he has them. But the fact that he does eat planets. I mean, even Ego, you can say to an extent, <laughs> is extremely powerful. But I'm pretty sure Galactus it's can eat. Ego. Can eat Ego. He Honestly, does I have no idea ego. about Marvel combo character. So I'm I'm going Galactus. What's yours? Uh. Let's see. So Blake says, where's the light, Anthony? I forgot it again. I told you to mind me, but he got me this low, like, bar light, I guess. It says F word on it. No, it no. Yeah, oh, it just entertain fast. Oh. I don't know. I think That's because he's a good friend. What a good guy. What a great guy. Great guy. Julian Mitchell says, without giving away any spoilers, what was your favorite character interactions from Infinity War? Mm. When Thanos killed Superman. It was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> he's like, ah! Favorite? Okay, so favorite team up? Thor and the Guardians. Okay. Yeah, that's I, I'd go the same. I, like in terms of interaction, yeah, I I, I can't say I, like, off the top of my head, but like I I was surprised with Batista's character. 
uh, how good really, he was yeah, in the movie. Really cleaned up his act from being a scumbag in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and ruining the whole movie to like really you know, picking him up. So it was nice. There you I go. just, you know what I was surprised with was his one Wait, wait, stop. Hi, Spia. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was I was surprised actually with how well uh, he delivered his lines and like his his comic he, relief wasn't overdone. Yeah, it was just really good. But I yeah, uh, the comic relief wasn't overdone that movie at all. I no, I, I think they toned it down. No, no, no. I think it was less toned down and it was just more. It it just fit perfectly to everything that was what, going on. Because it the wasn't like Batman or Superman. It was just all dark. Like I think it was dark enough. Like if you took out the jokes. It was yeah. a very morose. Like it was a very. If there weren't any jokes in that movie, yeah, it would not be good. It, yeah, I, I think it would be less, and it would be against type. But in terms of a, a, a team up, a matchup, because yeah. we've got, you know, uh, Cap, we've got, um, and Black Panther, we've got um, Iron Man and uh, Doctor, Strange. Doctor Strange, we have Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Peter, Peter and the Guardians, because we saw in the trailer. Yeah. Um, which ones, I guess, w which one was your favorite to watch? You know what? I've always liked uh, since, like, uh, Homecoming, how Iron Man and Spider-Man. That's a great one. Yeah. yeah. They have like, a they're, they're great they're, relationship. They're, it's, it's really cool. It's kind of like they go with that, you know, that father-son kind of a character, yeah. like, mix, as well as, like, you know, little brother kind of, like, yeah. friends making fun of each other. I think I like their, uh, their interaction on screen the best. Mine would definitely be Thor, Rocket, and Groot. Those three together, Those I good. would watch a movie just I would I would just watch a Rocket and, and Thor one, but those three together. Yeah. Uh, this guy's good. Oh man. Yeah. I, I, I mean Thor and the Guardians for sure. And that just built on it. But yeah. those three, amazing. Okay, so we have Young Gravy for a question towards you two, because I've not seen these movies. Okay. What do you prefer? Kill Bill one and two or Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction all day. Pulp Fiction. I want to see Pulp Fiction. I just You should, I have it right yeah. here. Do you want to borrow it? Quite a you, it's actually on Netflix, I think, too. No, oh. Pulp, Pulp Fiction, uh, for a lot of reasons. I think Kill Bill 1 was incredible. I like parts of Kill Bill 2. Uh, Pulp Fiction, however, broke the mold. Uh, it rode that line between an independent movie uh, because he, uh, Tarantino had done Reservoir Dogs and he wrote Natural Born Killers before that. And it, and it turned into a big blockbuster with a lot of, you know, a, a change in dialogue. He brought, he brought a narrative style of filmmaking to a movie. Like with different chapters, it wasn't not not. It wasn't just let's mess around with the timeline for the sake of the timeline. It was bringing that uh, novel way of of uh, of bringing in content, yeah. right? Chapter one, something different. Chapter two, something different. And then you get chapter five or six, huge change, right? Yeah. Do you agree? I do. Uh, I like Pulp Fiction. I just found was so iconic. That's, as a, a movie. that's a great one. It yeah. was it, there was that's so many like the the dance scene right oh, yeah. in it like, like even just the dance yeah, scene like the that, royale with cheese like everybody when you say royale with cheese yeah. knows what you're talking about like there is just yeah. so many good lines with the exception of you of course but yeah like you should you, watch them I think yeah. you, I think you'd uh, wait Kill Bill is from Pulp Fiction Pulp Fiction. well Pulp Fiction is better than Kill uh, Bill one and yeah. two but I think you should uh, you should see all three yeah. Okay, Mean Bump says, G, Anthony, Nick, dude, it feels like forever since you guys had a live, also do your job, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. telling him to do his job. Yeah, well, because Hello, last Eddie. week, last week we didn't want to ruin uh, Infinity War by yeah. accident, whether it was in the chat or a slip up for us. Exactly. We've been able to, while we've been talking with our collective groups, uh, keep that on the down low, so Except that's helped a lot. It to you guys. Yeah, about Superman. Yeah. No, like I literally spoiled it. Oh yeah, and, but then oh, you had that Insta, that then you had that Instagram glitch, which sucked. That was unfortunate. So we have Harsh Josan saying, "OMG, I love you guys. Please notice me. I'm such a big fan. I need you." Meme Thumb <laughs> saying, "Anthony needs a comment to do chill because it was when you guys were we were talking something else at the time." Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh. And like uh, you're supposed to chill, or we're supposed to chill? No, him, the guy commenting. Oh, okay. oh. Meme Bum says, "Give him a second. Only I can judge him about sucking at his job." <laughs> <laughs> Eddie says, thoughts on Venom and Ant-Man and the Wasp trailers. Oh. Venom was good. You like the Venom Wasp trailer? Good. Yeah. Did you see the Venom trailer? Uh, no, I did not see the did Venom Did you see one. how Venom looks? I saw in the in the one um, you had showed me. What do you guys think? In the poster. In the... You pointed it out. There was a poster at the theater. Oh. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, well, what did you guys think of how he looked? I, I love the Venom. I really like the Venom trailer. I think it looks really good. Yeah, in the poster as well. I saw, watch, but yeah, okay, yeah, watch the trailer. Watch uh, but that trailer looked good. I mean, you got Tom Hardy playing. Yeah, they didn't overdo Venom. Like that's how it should have been. And I love the way they did that. And I think he looks really good. He definitely looks a lot slimier. Well, how he should look, yeah. It's like uh, a sludge. Like, yeah. But I, I will say, in Spider-Man Three, the Sam Raimi one, I did like the way Venom looked. Um, this one, he definitely looks more realistic. 
I think there's gonna oh, be it some. Like a mask, though. Sorry. Like yeah, oh yeah, like, like kind of just. But in the comics, there were there were a couple lines where he opens it, his yeah, entire yeah. mouth, and then Eddie Brock comes through to make a cover. Like it, it, it's pretty, it's gruesome, but it looks awesome. Um, Ant Man, yeah. So that one looks good. Tom Hardy looks great. He does his like really like high pitched New York act, like a New York accent, and he's like talking to himself because. And it says we are Venom. Like yeah, that one, that got me. Um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Did you see the trailer? I did. Yeah. What'd you think? Good. Good. Ant Man and the Wasp. Now, like every time I uh, have you seen uh, the mean tweets for the Avengers? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul Rudd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hashtag unfuckable. <laughs> unfuckable. Oh <laughs> like, man. The way he reads it, like yeah. So now every time I, I think of Ant Man, I, I think of him reading off that mean tweet. But um, Ant Man and the Wasp. What'd you think? Good. I heard a really good like theory for how it ends, but I can't say because it's a Dwarf spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we we've seen a shade of it in the first Ant Man. So if you've seen the first Ant Man and you I remember really that specific like, scene, that Mexican guy does a like recap of what's happened. Where they get to that point? I think they're going to, and I and I think they're just going to do it once as a throwback to the to the first one. Um, yeah. <coughs> huh? You know what I'm talking about? Um, it's like the Mexican guy's like at the very end. He's talking with like. Oh man, why am I blanking on his name? I know his name, but I'm blanking. He's on like, it. oh, and this guy happened. He's like, oh, yeah. and this guy. Calls the guy the that was wall. telling the stories. I totally forget. I, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, oh, it's like I'm the funniest part. Uh, anyways, the sorry. yeah, Ammon the Wasp looks really good. Um, the the one of the villains from Ready Player One. She's the ghost. Well, wasn't it a hero? No, she was a villain. Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Is the, it with Artemis? No. Oh. I don't know. The one that's playing Ghost in, in Ant Man and the Not Wasp. Call of Duty. What? No. Is uh, is Ben Mendelsohn's like hench lady that was in charge of his crew? Like she was the badass in that. Looks really cool. The suit can blend through walls and stuff. Uh, I think Wasp is gonna steal the thing because yeah. she looks in, like she looks badass. I am so stoked for that. Did, real did I not have that as an option? Yeah, like like, no, you did. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> real Roots says, "Have a nice cold 12 pack ready after Infinity War. It'll come nice. out. Nice. Trust me." J Cap, thumbs up. Joyce Buenas. 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 Buena. Is it O S or A? <laughs> because it because it makes a, a difference. It's an a. Okay, buena. buena. Oh, that means it's good. Yeah. Yeah. One thing minute was bad. Well, no, man. You gotta understand. J Cap says Yahoo, Yahoo. There's meme- There's masculine says, and feminine Como terms. Están? Look at he doesn't even care. Como mean, está? How are you? Yeah. Are you sure? Context. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Strong team. Let's see, we got a bunch of. Oh my god. I, I we should go with Sophia joined the. We are really far behind the comments. Dude, I already said hi to her. You yeah. don't matter. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, we are really far behind. There's a lot of comments. That's comments? good. At That's least good. we have comments that we can respond. That's fantastic. Me Bump says, Rip Stephen Hawking's Infinity War. Yeah. You don't feel so good. Ah. The real root says Thor and Rocket for the people. Yes. Yeah. Julia Mitchell says, If the Venom movie bombs, do you think Sony would. Pretty have a would pretty much have a permanent relationship with Marvel. I think so. Well, just yeah. for the character, I guess. I don't think they really need Marvel for other things. No, they but really I think. Themselves. But but no, hold they on. Just sell it off, I guess. Well, I, I don't think they'd go to sell it off. Um, they might be close, but I think if they do screw up Venom, Did they get money from Infinity War. They might have got, wasn't it? I, I think I don't. It depends what their deal was. It might have been a rental agreement. Actually, I don't know if this was true, but. I, was it that I know one? I don't think I heard that one company gets merchandise, all the sales from merchandise, and one gets from the movie. Yeah, I don't know the exact know. Details, so yeah. details. But I think if they screw up Venom, um, most people will not care for any superhero property from Sony. Yeah. I think that's that's <clears throat> the risk they're gonna run. Even if no, even if they even if they do a standalone Spider-Man movie from Sony, people are now more aware of the companies. And if you say, oh, it's a Marvel, like if it's Spider-Man and Marvel, okay, great, because Marvel has proven to show that they can handle their properties and other people's properties, right? Yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? You know what, one thing that everybody forgets is coming out that Sony's probably gonna make bank on this year is the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Yeah, but that's a, that's a that's an animated one. I, I think it'll make bank, for sure. I hope it does, um, but it's animated. We're talking about like like, like live action. Well, yeah, I know that I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. But if they uh, script, but isn't Venom coming out before that, or no? It's coming out like two months. Two months, months, yeah. Nick? I, I agree, yeah, for sure. By the way, he's. Are you done season six? Yes. He finally finished season up to season six of Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fun, dude. Starting welcome. season seven. Starting season seven. It'll be a lot faster. <laughs> One of us. One, One of us. Mean bumps. Oh, Ivan head, head, by the way. Ivan <laughs> <Yvonne laughs> Join the navy. Join the navy. Yeah. Legit. I don't get how. I don't get. 
how freaking Black Widow is fine. She doesn't even have power. She's just glorified acrobat. Yeah, but you can say the same thing about like uh, Okoye and the Dormelage from uh, Black Panther. You can say that about Falcon. He just has a suit. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's a, at that point that's your suspension of disbelief for a comic book movie. I I kind of agree. She's an assassin. Yeah. But she can handle herself. But I think it's actually kind of cooler that she doesn't have any superhero powers yeah. and she's just still badass. Well, I mean, you say that, but I mean, she's got her electric. <laughs> she's got her. Iron uh, Man. <laughs> what do you mean Iron Man? Well, yeah, he, yeah. he's got his suit though. And from the trailers, from the trailers, his suit looks pretty incredible. Like, mm-hmm. and, and it's got, a, and it's got, it's, it's that it, when that rocket tunes in, it's like, okay, you know, his suit's gonna be something quite special. So he's got <laughs> a little special. bit more. He's got a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so some girl like the thumbs up below this guy's comment, meme bumps, and then Nava says hello. But so this girl thumbs up the comment, I guess, or whatever. Okay. And meme bump says to the person below my last comment, stop fingering my post with your thumb. I can do it myself. <laughs> Dear Ed, I'm so excited for Venom, especially since it comes out near my birthday. Nice. When's nice. your actual birthday? Josh Cabochet says, cute. Julian Mitchell says, what do you think about the bastard dude? Pretty awesome, right? Battle the bastard, maybe, oh. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, I texted oh, yeah. him right after. I think he's talking oh, about, yeah, uh, so. yeah, uh, awesome what do you, no. yeah, the, um. I figured it was past your bedtime. Yeah, though, the, the <laughs> Battle of the Bastards, Ramsey in general. Yeah, at, like Ramsey Lord. Bolton, no, yeah. yeah, Ramsey Bolton as a as a villain was a dick, dude. Like, like evil, evil. He, he actually had a dick. A, he, no, he, he had, had somebody off. else's dick that he cut yeah. off. He also had a dick. So okay, my question is: When you first got introduced to him, did you, because of what Theon Greyjoy did to the Star Kids, yeah, uh, did you feel like he deserved it? And then you had that turn where you he actually felt bad. It. No, I didn't feel bad for him like, at all. At all. Even when he got his stuff. No, I did not. Nothing. Man, Nothing. I felt bad. I think yeah. you could do a lot of things to a lot of people, but when it comes to that, that's uh, I d- yeah, I didn't feel bad for him. I was like, you I know think what? for me, it's like you can. It. For me, it's like you can cut my Achilles off. You can start slashing me. Just don't mess around down there. If that's yeah. gone, then it's like I can get my Achilles. I can get a brand, a prosthetic ankle or something. But yeah, that's that's some next level stuff. But he was a he was a villain, man. With Ramses, did you find a parallel to uh, Joaquin Phoenix's character in Gladiator? Oh. He totally reminded me of him. Dude, that's not a bad way to put it. Yeah. Like I just like when I just, his the way like if you, if you he re- looked and everything. If you really break down his actions, it's almost very, identical. Very Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Wow. Right? Good call. Holy Thank shit. You. Good call. Well done. <sighs> this guy i'm providing um, input <laughs> but that battle though pretty amazing oh yeah they, yeah they, they picked it out the that roundabout thing where they squished him in that yeah. was from like an actual roman battle that they found in history oh, wow. that was a that was a that was a tactic that the romans used as, as one of the things which i thought I was amazing it. yeah 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 your head says october 3rd is her birth his her birthday they are uh, birthday nice. nice happy birthday two days before venom nice. thumbs up to Ariane. okay so i'm gonna say this now because i don't think you know this I spoiled Infinity War accidentally. Oh, yes. Oh. So I'm not going to say what the fact was, because just in case you haven't oh, seen it. Oh, the Spider-Man one? Yes. Yes. So I posted yeah. it, right, with a spoiler slide saying swipe to see the fact. Yeah. And for some reason, apparently, if you're, I think I heard that if you're already on the app, as I post it, Instagram just auto slides the post. It mm-hmm. did, because I read it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, people just auto slid <laughs> it, and they're like, oh, what's this cool? Oh. <laughs> So I'm getting, like, I go to, like, I see hate people mail. the next day that I spoiled. They hate you. Yeah. That you didn't. A lot of them, because they understood. A lot of them didn't get mad at me. Actually, I didn't lose any followers, which I assumed I would have. Yeah. So I but I think, I think Thank that was going on with a lot me. of people, though. That's why they were, yeah. like, I no, think it was. No, a lot of people spoiled it. No, I know, but I'm saying yeah, a lot people of people spoiled it before you. No, no, no. I, I think the actual uh, messing with the algorithm and the way that that happened that happened to a few people, like uh, other people's accounts where you'd oh, go there. Okay. Uh, it did the same for me, but obviously I've seen the movie, so it didn't matter. Yeah. But you weren't the only one that it happened to. Yeah. Julian Mitchell says, "Really, dude, I hate what he did, but come on, yo, he's talking." <laughs> but you have to have some type of sympathy for him after what happened to his dick. That's what I'm saying, man. Some sympathy, like he burnt two kids. Alive, I know, but at man. least they're dead. A, he... a dick for a dick. Okay. Yeah. I get mad. Actually, technically, be two dicks for one dick for two dicks. I guess he. But yeah. they were kids, and so yeah. to always pay their debts. Oh, I don't know, man. I. Again, and that's where the struggle is. At one point, it's like you burnt those kids, like you're a piece of shit or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And but then when that happened, I just I, I couldn't. Like I, 
I mean, and, yeah, and as then a Wake, guy, you dude, get the sympathy pain, no, but yeah. like, yeah. Kill two kids, who cares? Oh, my yeah. penis is cut off, hey. I don't know, man. Wait yeah. until the next season. I think you'll really start to see... Uh, you'll really start to see that sympathy. change. Yeah. Not so much sympathy, but you'll see that change of what all of that has done to him. Because I think there's a statute of limitations. Like, I don't know what the statute of limitations is on something like that. Yeah. Like, if you burn two kids, you suffer for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, you will, for whatever you believe. But, yeah. I mean, like, in, in the realm of men, like... I mean, look at Roman Polanski. He'll never be in Hollywood again. And that guy was, uh, was I don't know, I think he's on par with what shit's going on with Weinstein. Yeah. Julian Mitchell says, so what are your thoughts on Thanos after seeing the movie now? Can't really say. I don't want to spoil it for you. You remind me of Bruce Willis. I'm like, in Thanos reminded no. me. No, no, oh, no. Some... No, his face. Every time I saw his face, it was, I, all I saw was Bruce Willis. You look Willis. Like a testicle with teeth. Well, that too. I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't. I, no. I don't. I'm not okay. even close. Maybe because I'm on the outs for with Bruce Willis because everything he's done has just been awful, and he's just been phoning in everything. Die Hard with ruined, a vengeance. He's ruined the Die Hard movies because of his by the fact that he just doesn't care. Yeah, bothers me. Gearhead says, "Is there a separate stream, or are there really only four people?" We probably only have four people. Yeah, I mean, is that like, what we have on right now? Well, it's just viewing right now. now. Yeah. Like people come in. We're at six right now. We start off with thirteen. Irfan underscore Jeffrey he says hello, so that bumped us up a bit. Yeah. You know, Brayden says, "Hi, I'm Brayden." On a scale from one to ten, how would you rate the movie? That's a very cordial way of approaching the stream. Yeah. 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 Hello, Brayden. I'm Anthony. I will rate it a nine out of ten. Rated a nine. Introduce yourself to Brayden. Hello, Brayden. My name is Jurassimo. Okay, well, okay, okay. G. <laughs> uh, I would rate it. Um, an 8.5. I'm Nick, and I would rate it a uh, 9 as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, it, was cool. a, it was a good movie. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very cordial. Hello, Irfan. He says hello. Yeah, that's that. uh, Brayden, you uh, did better than Irfan. Irfan did worse than Brayden. I'm sorry. He just said, he came and said hello. All we said was yeah. come say hello. Julian Mitchell says, were you guys expecting that ending to happen? Because I sure as well hell wasn't. Yeah, I was expecting it. I was no, not. Nobody was expecting it. Whoever says they're expecting no. it yeah. can uh, shut their candy ass up. Well, I, I think on, until, as to what scale. I think some people were expecting parts of it. I think they weren't expecting the entirety actually, of it. Apparently, it was but, actually really related to the comic book. So yeah, was, there's know. an Infinity War comic book tied in with the movie as well. And it, apparently, it also shows where certain characters were after certain movies that led up to this one. So, I mean, if you're out there and you've read it, that's sweet. Uh, but yeah. Joel Mitchell says 9 out of 10. Yeah. What did yeah. you rate it? He rated nine. it at 9. I rated it an 8.5. You know what I hate about some people that review stuff? Yeah. I'll give it like a 8.75 out of 10. <laughs> Just, yeah. you know, it's either an 8.5 or, or a, a 9. nine. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think so. I think you can go, like, I went 8.5 because, you know, okay, my, my only thing for my scale is that we, we know that this isn't its own complete thing. Yeah. This isn't mm -hmm. like a Captain America Winter Soldier, which I would put a 9.7. Yeah. Okay. Just 9. to piss 9.78253 repeated. Of course. Um, of course. Uh, oh my god, he just ran in. But, <laughs> but I mean, when you look at it, those ones were contained. Yeah. Like one movie start to finish, boom. Yeah. There are certain movies in the Marvel Universe that need one or two movies. And we've already known from years before, Infinity War was originally a part one and part two. Now, I don't know how much of that's actually going to be. But I think, collectively... They work. As I was mentioning to some people, <coughs> Infinity War plays very well, speaking of Game of Thrones, like the second last episode of a Game of Thrones series, like a Battle of the Bastards where everyone's like holding on to themselves. Yeah. And then the next episode, the finale, is also mind-blowing yeah. in a very different way. Yeah. Well, I think like, look, look this happened with Walking Dead, <coughs> the big cliffhanger, right? At the end of yeah. one season. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say this was like, it was its own movie because it finished its arc. Okay. It wasn't you're happy with the ending because you want more but I think it's just like one of those breaks where this was one arc that's going to lead to another arc like right after so well and that's a fair point too like I, I'm, I'm looking at it almost like you know uh, yeah like I'm just looking at it as it, it seems like it's still a part one and part two um, which doesn't take away from the movie at all in any way shape or form um, but when you're speaking of arc on maybe a specific character you make a good point you guys agree disagree agree Apparently, uh, a thousand percent. A thousand. I heard from I don't know if it was, I don't know how to say his name. Taika Watiti. Taika Watiti. Yeah. Okay. So this guy, he apparently he said I don't know if it was him who said it, but the Hulk didn't have a trilogy of movies. But apparently, I don't know if it was 
Avengers Age of Ultron, Ragnarok, and then this movie was mm-hmm. like his own little trilogy because he like developed so much as a character. Oh, yeah. I that was cool to look at. Well, we were we were gonna with the well, we'll get to some more questions, but I, I think there's an argument to be made about arcs with certain characters. Uh, I think Hulk is a tough one because he did he did have a movie on his own before. Uh, I think it was after Iron Every, Man or before. Yeah, it was after. Yeah. Everything so it was before. I don't know why. It was... No, it was after because Iron Man shows up at the end of that yeah. one as a post credit scene to. Uh, uh, there was the post credit scene. Just the last scene. Was it just the last scene? Fun fact, yes. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a free entertain fact for you. Um, I mean, not but even for that I think the real arcs are your Captain America, Iron Man, Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor, I think, because they had their own standalone trilogies and also being inundated and all the other ones. Um, and there's an argument to be made between the three of them. Even though I think a lot of people aren't going to like Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, and they're going to like Tony Stark's arc throughout the entirety of the movie. Also, Black Widow had a good, I guess... Arc. Hers was not bad, yeah. I think a lot of what we don't know after Civil War muddies that a bit for me. Okay, so we need some comments. Yep. Uh, Braden says, thank you for answering. You guys rock. No, you, you rock. rock. You rock. Gearhead says, can you all rate your top five MCU antagonists? You know. start rating yours while we're rating ours. Uh, antagonists. Thanos. Okay. Loki. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Killmonger. Mm-hmm. Vulture. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm blanking. That's it. I don't know. Well, we've got Ego. We've got Ultron. We've got oh, yeah, uh, Dormammu. Uh, Mordor is not there okay. yet. Um, we've got um, the Mandarin, which really wasn't the Mandarin switch. We've got uh, Jeff Bridges as... Um, well, I'm blanking on his name as well. Oh, what, you want your soldiers in that list somewhere. Yeah. He, he could he could technically yeah. be he's a technically an antagonist so so you said Michael B. That, Jordan's character was a, that was Killmonger was, yeah Killmonger yeah. so you said that Thanos was, never, Loki no, that's okay. Killmonger all three of those are really close yeah then I'll say Winter Soldier and Vulture okay yeah. Nick no I'd probably be same thing Thanos for sure number one okay uh, Loki you know I don't know I, I would put him a little further down on the list I really yeah I would I would go Thanos Killmonger. Uh, Why well, yeah. the only one who thinks of Thanos? Like the one we know whenever I say that name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We I have a friend named Thanos. Loki, yeah, was a little further down. I never really took him seriously. I wow. Took him, like, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't he get was, me wrong. You were you were in a small a island small by yourself island, on and that I'm okay one. With that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was just the way, like, you know his face like it just, it just like you know it was just i never took him seriously like that one part where like um where it was uh oh, in shoot, which movie during which uh, i think it was thor the second one dark like, world during captain where, america no 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 the one that where he's awesome. where they're in germany and he's at that party and he he go like everybody's kneeling toward that's like, an avengers. that was an avengers that was an avengers yeah, yeah yeah like and the one old guy stands up to him like i Okay, it was a pivotal, it was a great scene, but like at that point, I was just like, eh, like that yeah, early that's on. True. I guess yeah. I will no. have the balls to stand up to yeah, you. Yeah, like I can't. Yeah, but take they don't know. Seriously. But they don't know who. I guess he, he looks is. like a human though. He, he looks, like a, he looks like a person with a costume that these people have never seen before. And no, they're not going to take him seriously because they don't know what he is. Yeah. Or who he is. Uh, so sorry, is. you said Thanos, Killmonger. And you, is Loki like at number five or even off that list? No, Loki. Loki would be number five. He's I would Loki. Say. Okay, yeah. and then in between the two. Oh, Ooh, we forgot about Red Skull, by the way. Sorry. Red Skull. Oh. In Captain Why America: The First Red Avenger. Skull was, yeah. Okay, Red, I'll put that on there. Okay. Red Master isn't a villain, is he? Who? Uh, t- he kind of is. Oh. Uh, that's a good. That's a good one. He kind of is. The guy from Thor, right? From the, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Collector. Goldblum's. Uh, it's my birthday. It's my- uh, and then you got one more. Oh, man. We've got Ultron. We've got Dormammu. We've got Ego. We've got Vulture. Hella. Hella. Nice. Uh, did Gear? Did uh... I found her way, hey, wait, way, you, you, you... way worse? Okay, than wait. Well, we don't gear heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gear heads says Thanos, Vulture, Grandmaster, Ironmonger. Is that the one from Iron Man One? Uh, Ironmonger. Yes, that was Iron Man One. Thank you. Red Skull and Vulture. I think that's six. No, two, five, four, five. Wait, wait, two, no, that's two, four, six. Yeah. He said Vulture again. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did say Vulture. Yeah. Okay, well, where where is he? Anybody where else in there? Let us know what your top five antagonists are. Uh, mine is Loki first, and I'll tell you why. I think Loki has the tragic. Uh, he has a tragic, uh, a more tragic tale, 
And a lot of it has to do with what was represented, uh, what Valkyrie said is that Odin's world was filled with lies. Thor's life was actually filled with a lot of lies that and they snakes. had to deal with. And snakes. He was like, <laughs> stab me. Uh, anyways, so I put Loki up there, A, for the reason that he's had more movies to develop his character. Uh, B, he was that person that really needed attention. He needed, a, a, he, his whole thing was, I need attention. Which is a big thing, doing and thumbnails. well, but he's doing thumbnails. You can't do thumbnails like that. <laughs> that just looks stupid. Uh, in, Stark even pointed it out. He wants his name in lights. He wants it above everything or whatever, and that's how he figured out that the the beam was in um, was on Stark Tower. Camera, Loki. Well, and yeah, this he did the statue. He wanted people to look at him as a god. He wanted to take over. Yeah. That arc is actually quite a tragic arc from arc from someone who's been lied to his entire life, who has. Um, who has been told one thing and then find find something else out in the first Thor movie. Uh, his brother, who I think has an amazing arc, like Thor has an amazing arc, but has to be placed second to him always when he's truly, like he's smarter than him, uh, but no one sees him, no one takes him seriously, which is something that he's been striving for the entire time. And the only way he knows how to do that is by manipulating people around him and just sneaking out the back door. But he still wants the recognition for doing it, right? So, so there's that. There, there, there's that. So yeah. he's number one. I would put um, Thanos at number two, Killmonger at number three. I actually like the Mandarin. I like that twist, but <laughs> I won't put it there. Um, Winter Soldier, yeah. and um, Hela. I liked Hela. A lot as just a character on her own but as an antagonist uh i almost say ego pretty close to ego or, well, or the red skull kill a movie so i guess <laughs> <laughs> next well okay joel mitchell correct me saying actually hulk trilogy starts with thor 3 avengers 3 then ends in avengers 4. see i don't know about that i i saw i saw that coming in i think the only reason it doesn't is because one of his major moments was between, let's say, the Edward Norton Hulk still counts, okay, and yeah. him learning how to harness his power or work on it. A big character turn that people didn't know is when he said, I'm always angry. I love that part. Yeah, it's an I amazing part. Line, yeah. yeah, he stuck with theory? Yeah! I did. Yeah. I did. Oh, Who smash. did it? But I think there almost starts his, uh, his arc. Yeah. I think. So he might have even the longest arc, like, next to a Loki. Voice over a certain Man. movies well, Iron Man too, yeah. yeah but I mean well, I don't disagree sure <laughs> but but with Thor Ragnarok the only issue with Thor Ragnarok is that he was only Hulk so maybe we're talking about a Bruce Banner arc and a Hulk arc because they could be played off as two different things uh, your head says shout out to Matt Damon playing Loki in Loki's play Matt great. Damon <laughs> yes he was good that, great. Was awesome. that was a highlight says another question what are your thoughts on the, Mar on the Marvel DC crossover with all the newest actors I would like it, I guess. What else? That's what I have. Like you'd watch it if they released it. If they said ne ne this time next year, or sorry, in two years, we're getting a crossover. Would you be excited? Yeah. You? Yeah, I think I would be. Yeah. I want to trigger some guys here. What's your answer? Some uh, uh, take it or leave it. No. If if the Russo brothers decide to take it on, then yes, because they're the only ones that have now proven to take on a cast of like a thousand people and handle yeah, them. Yeah, Sony, why don't you take a lesson, okay? You know, uh, this guy dealt with five villains and like, you know, 20 heroes and did it well, so you ruined two trilogies by doing a mistake like that, so learn. Thank you. Spider-Man 3, Amazing Spider-Man 2, too many villains. Ruined a trilogy. Mm. They're good directors. Sony you should learn from them. The jokes now on finally excited to explain this. Yeah, it is. Anyway, okay, so in my cap class, this girl was talking, I think Tuesday or whatever, and all the guys were talking about Infinity War. She said, like, Yeah, I'm really excited to see Infinity War, you know? Oh, and wait, some 15 minute call, by the way. Sigma says, Oh, yeah, it's pretty good, except Batman dies. Why would you tell me that? <laughs> oh my. I wanted to see it. And then he's like, Oh, I was just joking, whatever, you know. And then for some reason, Spider-Man gets brought up, and she's like, oh, what, Spider-Man's in the movie? Well, yeah. Tread carefully, son. Yeah. But he's a part of DC. Why is he in the movie? Uh, you should have slapped her. Oh. No, actually, don't slap no, her. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but, I mean, you should have. Was, it's a whole other This guy was, like, but... yelling at like, no, Spider-Man's Marvel, Batman's DC. No, no, they aren't. It's different. Oh. What was her reasoning for believing that they were different? 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Never try to pull prove a point. Oh, she'll never already... get married. Yeah, by nobody. <laughs> yeah, you'll be single forever. Julian Mitchell says, Thanos, Vulture, Loki, Zemo. I know he's a secondary villain, but Ebony Ma? Ebony Ma. Ma. Yeah, yeah, that Ebony, that's a, that's a big, big one. See, Zemo is an interesting one because I was thinking that too. Um, I think a lot when you look at what impact the villains have had. Zemo had and, one of the biggest, not the biggest anymore, but he had one of the biggest. He had one of the biggest impacts. He, like, and the only issue I have with Zemo is that his plan was predicated on everything working out just perfectly. I think, like at least one part of the plan. The second well, it part. did go perfectly though. But I mean, it, everything had to line up just the right the way, stars right? Had Which to is, line the story next yeah. Time. But I mean, what he ended up doing ultimately at the end of Civil War, I, that's a win. That's a that's a villain win. Nick. Villain win. You're very quiet. Villain right now. win. I'm listening. No, oh, I'm, I'm very. It's a villain. You have to get in. You have to get in and yeah. throw your Just weight dive around. On dive on in. Throw your weight around. Speaking about DC, I'm so excited for the Batman just because of Deathstroke. Yeah. Yeah, if it comes out. If it comes out, is it is that still on track? Like, is the is at least Joe Manganiello still like, hey, we're doing Deathstroke? Oh, the movie. He's asking. I'm yeah. asking. Yeah. Oh, she said like not because of the Deathstroke movie. Yeah. Like I don't know. DC's what? like, Whoop, there's a movie. Whoop, there's a movie. Now they're streaming so sites. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, and they also released like a Harley Quinn poster. They released a New Mutants poster. Like they released some like. Well, not New Mutants. Not New Mutants. They're not. Titans? Titans. I hope Celine Dion gets her own character in the Deadpool movie. Let's talk about that. <laughs> that was the most Canadian and most amazing, amazing. thing ever. Yeah. That was the best bit of promo they could have done. Yeah. And I, like, oh we my. We do it again because it was too good. You're you know, at an 11 and we need, like, a five, yeah. five and a half tops. You know how you know it's good? Nick was the one that messaged me before I messaged him to say, like, <laughs> He's like, dude, did you see that Deadpool Do you think I'm like, message. because you, you naturally assumed you already have you're seen in, it. You're in school, so I don't. You know, there's a group chat yeah. where I send all my. No, I it. just text. Yeah, I don't use. It's the, true. Drew the, Mitchell I'm says, sorry. "How excited you guys the new Titans show? Probably won't watch it." I'm whatever about it. You're, yeah, you probably. I I'm watching a lot of things that I want to watch, like Han Solo. You didn't talk about Han Solo. Though. Yeah, I'm saying I don't have too much stuff that I don't want to watch that I have to watch to watch stuff that I also don't want to watch. Did you see what Julian Mitchell said about uh, his sister-in-law? <laughs> I really hate that type of people. I love my sister-in-law, but she thought Wolverine was DC. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost worth. It's almost worth like carrying around a whiteboard and Julian like, Mitchell's no. one of my favorite commentators <laughs> right now. Like, I feel like it's just really awkward now, like Christmas dinner or whatever. Like he's like Karen. I'm call it Karen. Karen walks in. Oh hi, Julian. <laughs> What do you want, Karen? <laughs> get, get out, Karen. Why do you hate so him? Matter. Why do you hate like, him so much? Such a she thought turn. Wolverine was DC. <laughs> Take care of the family. You know what? And I think a lot of it now, it's like, it's, it's all common knowledge, man. People that were coming, people were asking me, like, at my around the office about Infinity War, who we've, like, I awesome. never assume they even gave a crap, but everyone seems to give a yeah, crap. Yeah, I walked into the hallway, we were talking about Infinity War. Yeah, but you're in school. The amount of power you have. Like, I was in my science class, and uh, somebody brought up Infinity War. Like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And as a joke, right? I said, oh, I'll spoil it. I had the teacher. La, 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 la. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was just in. Like, I, I felt like I had so much power. Yeah. Next time you do it, you should go, this person brought. <laughs> like, 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 this really long drown out thing, and then lie after. Her power. name is Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Liz. Liz. Oh, Liz. Liz. Uh, Landry. A different time are we almost. Now? We're, 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 well, we're so. 187? No. <laughs> um, I think it's pretty. I think it's going to be pretty cool. He's super powerful and have show, bringing him after Captain Marvel will then be good because I'm pretty sure the whole universe is going to start moving up. Like, Anthony's super powerful too, though, by yeah. giving away spoilers. Yeah, I can't have doing it, so maybe I should do more. Justin says Buzz Lightyear dies. That was a tragedy. <laughs> that was awful. Okay, anything else we gotta add? I think this is um, oh, game. okay, well, because we're... Oh, wait, Julian Mitchell came in. Jesus, Julian, many a paragraph. Julian says, she's a good friend, but she's... She's a good friend, she's a big fan of the Marvel MCU movies, but she knows very little about the comics and their properties. Every time I explain it to her, it's like explaining rocket science. You really need to put like a board, just have a board and just I show I hope she her. sees all these comments about you talking crap about her. I don't think he's talking crap about her, I think he's just- He's a... like throwing like, yeah, you know, she's a really good person, but she's just, she just sucks, you know? Yeah, but 
hates his sister-in-law. Doesn't matter. They're family for life. I hate your sister-in-law. I hate uh, mine. <laughs> you don't, don't have even a have a sister-in-law. Sister yeah, but I already hate her. I already know. Yeah. I'm gonna be, she's gonna be called Karen, and I'm gonna hate her guts. Well, which sister-in-law? Your sisters or your brothers? Or both? Well, I mean, two Karens. You're assuming she's. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't know. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you it's never a whole know. Other podcast. Um, no, before we wrap up, uh, I'm oh. sorry. Uh, this is a story, just a quick one. Okay, were you guys ever in Boy Scouts? No. no. Were any of you ever in Boy Scouts? Okay? <laughs> were you? You're in no. Boy Scouts? No. Well, then what? why'd you turn away from <laughs> us? Because you guys are older. I thought you'd be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this guy, I heard, such a, a, I heard such you were a, such a big Boy Scout back in the day. I thought such an ignorant too. thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> when we had nothing else to do, we just joined boys. Well, there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> You're such an ageist. Yeah. Okay. So, what an atrious thing to like, say. This week, such an atrious. Uh, a girl joined a Boy Scout group, and now there's no longer Boy Scouts. It's just called Scouts, but Girl Scouts are still a thing. So the internet is divided. That's BS. Yeah, that is BS. That is total BS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not on board with that at well, all. Don't they have, like, boy They've and been girl trying to, scout groups, you know, like, already? So why would you join There was girl scout? guides, and there was boy scouts. So the yeah. whole point well, was, I think there was like two a, separate I think There's, there's also group. girl scouts as well. So now the girl's in there, so they just call them scouts. And then now they, they're they not changing the other one? No, like, it's still, it's still gonna... See, that's... that's This whole thing's going ass backwards. I'm yeah. not even gonna get started on this. Your head says boy scouts, girl scouts, just ask the cookies. Well, <laughs> Uh, you yeah, no. They, they, well, you know that they, they were looking at getting rid of Father's Day, but yeah. no one talked about getting rid of Mother's Day. So, okay, let's last, just end it on a high note. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on a high note. Um, anybody listening? Deadpool on, and Celine Dion. That's right. Deadpool and Celine Dion. <laughs> yeah. uh, for those of you listening, thank you so much for listening to our audio. Our last, um, the Infinity War one, is on our anchor. You'll find it wherever we can find it. I'm gonna Your try to anchor. find. Uh, uh, Anchor is the one that I release it on. Um, we got 19 views on the Infinity War one. The director's vit deep dive got about 17 or 18 views, so we're getting there. Uh, but that's only on Anchor. Listens, so I don't know. Mean, Listens. We're, we're actual people. There, okay, we're living in a prayer. There. Just take my hand. I know we'll it's a fair. It, I swear. Anyways, uh, so I yeah. On a chair. Thank you for listening, everybody else. Thank you for oh, tuning in again. Good story. Julie Mitchell said, "Did anybody leave during the after credits for Infinity War because everybody in my." You there did, and I want to yell at each and every one of them. Why? Somebody did leave, and somebody in the row, or I think it was our row, or somebody near our row yelled, What is it? Your first time watching a Marvel <laughs> movie? <laughs> That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know. I didn't notice you. I don't understand why people would walk They're out. 10 after. years in, okay, get the hell to program. Yeah, like it's been going on for yeah. a long time. I'm pretty sure they don't need to be like, let people know. Um, uh, by the way, I loved the way it all ended too. Like, the, just it was so vastly different. Vasquez like, different. Vasquez different than the other ones, and it was it, I was pretty pretty on board with that. Um, but yeah, for those listening, those on Instagram, I think we're wrapping this. Happy Make sure up. you guys follow the page, subscribe to the YouTube. It's in my bio, okay? So yep. the F word. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. The F word. I think we're close to seven hundred, maybe. Uh, yeah, we're closing in on seven hundred, right. surprisingly, nice. and we've almost been doing it for a year too. We also could be in the range to get sponsored to reviews uh well what happened is there is a company called deal spotter out of santa monica in california and they were asking if we can promote certain products on there so um we're gonna try to figure out what it is because i'd rather it not be like videos dependent on sponsoring like hey yeah. check out this new, new thing i would rather be a situation like um it's a separate video we just review the product no no no, no. Oh. I, i'm talking like this review is brought to you by this and we do yeah. a quick like 10 second commercial like and if that fits the bill so uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing some stuff there. That means we'll get some new product, and if we if it's unboxings and stuff that fit in our model, um, then it'd be cool to do an unboxing video. Yeah. Okay, so Gearhead, notice me sent by Anthony. Goodbye, Perrin Prize. Goodbye, Julia Mitchell. Abel Batista says, "Follow me back, bruh." Bruh. Bruh. Maybe. Bruh. Julian, laughing face, Gearhead, show to Steve Rogers, end credit scene in Homecoming. Julia Mitchell says, "Love watching guys." Love oh. having you yeah. here. You tell your, guys. tell your, that's good. That's okay. That's tell okay. your friends if uh, everybody else is uh, sitting around trying to be like, hey, who can I talk to about movies, comic books, all that without being like reprimanded by anybody? Also, no spoilers. Good for you guys. No, yes. you guys are amazing. Yeah, yeah no spoilers. spoilers. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. And um, 
and a safe space for a good solid hour and just go crazy on some comic stuff. That's the point of this for all of us to sit here. See, if you look at the screen like this, it looks like there's a table. You know, like we can all hold hands and then they hold hands there and it's just, hey. Okay, time to say grace. Dear them. <laughs> Dear whoever, thank you for bringing us the best comic book movies. All right. Okay, Yasas. Jossis. Oh, say bye. Right up, right up. Bye bye, yeah. This is what Nick looks like in person without text on there. What are you it's doing? Like You're not even doing it right. Here we go. No, it's VR. Whoa. Oh, not the shop. It's so embarrassing.